My name is Dr Sam Miles. I'm the subject coordinator for the BSc Applied Accounting, Oxford Bricks University. This is the third in the resubmission playlist and here we are focusing on fails on graduate skills 5, 6 and 7. Criteria 5 is communication and there are three reasons a fail grade may be awarded here. First of all, the use of language being inappropriate or the meaning unclear. This sometimes happens if students use translation or paraphrasing software because inappropriate words may be substituted, causing sentences to become rather meaningless. For example, replacing the market share increased with the bizarre portion augmented. As you can see, that is just nonsense. Um, so do be careful. Um, it's much better just to write in plain English and to use your own vocabulary. Secondly, grammar, spelling and punctuation contains frequent errors. This is just about proofreading, so make sure that you proofread your work prior to submission. And finally, style is unacceptable to a business audience. And this tends to be because it's either a journalistic style um, or it's too informal or it contains too much slang or jargon. So remember who your audience is. It's academics and it's a business audience. Criteria six is information gathering and referencing. And there's three broad reasons here a fail grade may be awarded. First of all, it's to do with weak information sources. So they could be limited or irrelevant information sources, but also if you substantially depended upon a single source or you've admitted obvious sources, such as the annual reports for a financial analysis of a company. So this usually relates to the analysis section. The financial analysis needs to look not only at the financial statements, but also other corporate materials, the press and newspapers, trade journals, financial papers, and so forth. All of these must be referenced, including the annual report and the accounts. For topics researching internal management issues, there must be citations to internal corporate documentation. The second broad reason is weak referencing. So this could relate to little evidence of appropriate referencing or no systematic approach followed, a lack of correlation between the citations and the reference list, limited numbers of references, or the reference list um, in the reference uh, is not included in the uh, wrap. So first of all, remember to submit your reference list, but also remember that referencing is a key academic skill and if you fail for poor referencing, the starting point should be to read the information pack. There's lots of really good information there, as well as specific YouTube videos. At Oxford Brooks, we use the Harvard referencing system, which uses author year. And there needs to be a strong correlation between the citations and the reference list. Reference all sources, look at your analysis. Are all statements of fact or opinions of others referenced? Do you have large sections without citations? Do not use inappropriate sources as well, such as ready-made SWOT or PESL analysis or Wikipedia, because these are poor quality and cannot be relied upon. Continuing with weak referencing, the position of your citations matter. Make a point and reference it. Do not list citations on a separate line at the end of a paragraph. Ask yourself, is it easy for the reader to locate the citations in your list of references? Have you facilitated this by putting those in alphabetical order? Are all citations referenced in the list of references? Is it clear which citation relates to which reference? Do you need to differentiate different publications from the same author and the same year by adding A, B, C, etc. with the year in the citation and the reference? The third reason why criteria six may be a fail is to do with unacceptable academic practice. The main reason here is cut and pasting of materials. Where material is taken verbatim, acknowledge this by including the text in inverted commas and cite the page numbers. Failure to do this is called plagiarism, which is a serious academic conduct issue. Keep your direct quotes to a minimum Excessive direct quotes will lead to failure of understanding application or analysis. So that's failures in criterias one, two, and three, because you're not demonstrating any of these skills through cutting and pasting. 
Making up references is also poor academic practice, so cite the references you use. There's no shortcuts here, just learn how to reference. And if you learn how to reference at the beginning, it will make your whole journey much easier. Criteria 7 relates to information technology, and there are three reasons a fail grade may be awarded. First of all, little evidence of the use of IT, but that's rarely a cause for failure. More common is that students either forget to submit a spreadsheet or they don't provide appropriate varied formulae within their spreadsheet. So lots of different functions exist in Excel, so please use a range of these such as sum or standard deviation or average or even addition, multiplication. Uh, division and so forth. Using the same function but referring to different cells is not varied formula and so you would fail if you just did this. And finally, you would be given a fail if you used a template for your spreadsheet. Do not use a template for any aspect of your submission and do not accept a template from your mentor um, or from other students. It is your responsibility to do this and it would be your project that will face the fail. I hope you found this short podcast useful.